Good morning. This is June the, June the 3rd. <clears throat> today, as you've prepared yourself to meet the day and you've, you've, you've opened your heart and your thoughts to the intents of God's heart, you know, we do that every day. And we do it with the Word of God. That today's Word comes out of Hebrews, the 4th chapter and the 12th verse. It says the Word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword, able to side asunder, even the, the depth and the intents of, of man's heart even to the very marrow of the bone where he knows every thought and every intent that we're saying. What are you saying <clears throat> today about yourself? What are you confessing over your finances? What are you confessing over your family? What are you saying about that problem you have in your body? Why are you looking at the things of this world and not the things of the world, of the Lord? You know, in Matthew 6, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom. Well, where does the kingdom reside? The kingdom of heaven resides with me and you. The power of God resides in us. The Holy Spirit is the kingdom. Jesus and the Word, the incarnate Word, in John chapter 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So we know that Jesus and the Word of God are the same. So when you get filled up with Jesus every day, praying in the Spirit and reading God's Word, you are ready to meet the day. If you go out, if, an, if a person, a military person in the army goes out without his weapons and out his armor, he is going out to be beat up on by the enemy. But you and I, as children of God, in the army of the Lord, we will not entangle ourselves with the things of this world. The Bible says in Timothy, how many of us have put on the full armor of God? And if you read Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 18, that full armor in all circumstances, in all it, 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 the very epistle of it means that we put on Jesus. Have you put on Jesus? Have you washed yourself with the blood? Have you cleansed your mind with the word? Have you confessed him? Have you prayed through his name? Have you allowed the Holy Spirit to pray through you to exalt Jesus to the Father? Have you walked in the ways that he's telling you to walk? Are you doing the, the things that he's intended for you to do and say? Are you going around wringing your hands and say, Oh me, oh my, what am I going to do? Let me tell you something. Forget those things that lie behind and put them behind you. Look forward to where you're going. Look forward to what he's telling you. Look forward to what he's showing you by the Spirit. It says in Psalm 37 that, that the steps of a righteous person are ordered by the Lord. Are you a righteous person? You know, <clears throat> pardon me, Christ makes you righteous. Christ's blood redeemed me and you. It sanctified us, set us apart, and made us holy. Do you realize the Holy Spirit does that? Do you realize that you cannot whip it up, make it up, or pray it up to make yourself holy? You cannot do those things only by the work of the Spirit of God in you and I that brings us to that place and that revelation where we are God's children. We have been led and are being led by God's Spirit. We are motivated and cleansed by the blood. We are His children. I hope this has opened your eyes and your ears to Him today. In Jesus' name, amen.